So there's no sort of confusion or argument about what midwifery is anywhere else, except for here, right? right? Except here. And mm -hmm. so as I got rolling in this work here in the United States, and I've been here 32 years at this point, um, 33 years nearly, I found myself sort of like figuring, how is it that, you know, we could put these structures inside of the community, but we have to work collaboratively. Like midwifery and collaborative work goes together, always. You have to have an opportunity to move up to the next level of care if it's needed. We need access to the OBGYN. We need access to the institution. We need access to the operating room. That's a midwifery component across the world as well. Right. So looking at what we actually have, the reality of what we have, and one of my hashtags is, it's time to tell the truth. The truth is that we don't have an infrastructure and we don't seem to want to necessarily get one. And so while we have all of these vast areas of need, um, a, a change of movement, we also have, I think, work to do to create infrastructures that are interdisciplinary and that are collaborative in nature. And that to do that, some of the supports that are missing need to start in the community first. So we have power in the community because we have people in the community. Right. We just need to incorporate those people who are already on the ground. It's right. not like they're not there. And right. so, you know, I know many OBGYNs in this country understand midwifery and maybe even embrace midwifery. But I also know many are like, hmm, no, no thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as an OBGYN, I know you have perhaps had some, you know, yes. feelings and thoughts around that as well as maybe action around that. Do you want to share? Sure, sure. You know, it's, um, you know, it's really interesting where, you know, where I trained, um, I trained in, in Boston at Mass General and Brigham Women's Hospital in OBGYN. And Mass Jewish General Hospital had, um, had a very integrated midwifery structure like the the midwives really ran 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 the labor ward um and that was just a fantastic model for me particularly being you know a new trainee I learned so much from from midwives um and you know learning more about midwifery care just seeing how we underinvest in the U.S. just overall in maternal health provider capacity, right? We don't have enough OBGYNs, we don't have enough midwives, but we really underinvest in midwifery capacity, right? There, there aren't enough midwives. And then also we have to talk about diversity of midwives, right? There aren't enough black and brown uh, um, midwives, um, midwives uh, in the, in the U.S. as well. And so, so it's really critical to understand that we need to build capacity. But even on top of building capacity, it's that partnership. It's that team-based right. care that's really, really important. Because to your point, um, I think there is some work that the OBGYN profession needs to do to think about embracing midwives and partnering with midwives. Um, there is this power differential between physicians and, um, and, and midwives. Mm -hmm. um, and that I think is by design um, and part of how we need to address this crisis, these structures, is we need to tackle, tackle that head on.